Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Hour. And this mini series is called "You Already Are What You Wish to Be." And today's discussion is about Neville Goddard, Doctor Wayne Dyer, and the title of the video is "Invest in the Now." And we're going to begin with telling a little story. On the morning of April twelfth, nineteen fifty-three, my wife was awakened by the sound. Of a great voice of authority speaking within her and saying, "You must stop spending your thoughts, time, and money. Everything in life must be an investment. To spend is to waste. To squander, to lay out without return. From the other perspective, here, to invest is to lay out for a purpose." From which a profit is expected. This revelation of my wife, it is about the transformation of the moment, because it is only what is done now that counts. This story came from the book *The Power of Awareness*, Chapter Five, by David Goddard. It is super, super important and tied deeply with what we're talking about today. Because whenever we assume the feeling of being what we want to be. We are investing, and this is a brand new perspective because now is all we have, right? I never call this the transformation of the moment. We used to think as spending thoughts, time, and money, but from now on, I encourage all of us, including myself, to shift that thinking, shift that perspective. Seeing everything as an investment, right? For example, maybe this year and this summer you have spent some money traveling, right? From one aspect, this society called it as spending, right? But from now on, we can see it as an investment because the experience that you gain from spending the money to travel, you. Will never lose that because it is experience. The things that you learn on the journey become part of who you are. And here, I would like to share a story that's in my life. I remember when I was twenty years old, I signed up for this summer program to study social entrepreneurship. We were there for one month, and that program wasn't quite cheap. Because it's summer, July in Rome, and we stayed in the middle of the city center in Campo di Fiori, and it was amazing time, beautiful weather. The program director Angel, that his impact on me, literally lasted till this day, and will be continuously impacting my life. Because I remember at that time, I was not so confident about. The level of proficiency of my English, but he was the person encouraged me to speak out, to be in front of the camera, to voice my opinion, to share my journey and my stories, because he believes that myself and all of us has a unique story to share. And the other day, I was going through the Google Drive, the old videos and photos, and I literally saw this video of he took with me in front of the fountain. In Piazza, and that square is absolutely beautiful. And the fountain is called Fountain of the Four Rivers, or Fontana di Quattro Fiumi, Fiumi, Fontana de Quattro Fiumi, by the notorious and famous artist Bernini. And it is just absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. And when I saw that video, such young, <laughs> the such younger version of myself. Was quite camera shy, but Angel was very encouraging, and he hyped me up. Let's just put it in that way, right? He essentially said that this young man, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe and check him out. That he has many interesting stories to tell, right? As fast forward now, seven and a half years later, YouTube is exactly what I do, and I am extremely passionate about it. I enjoy telling the story, sharing my journey, sharing my reflection in life. Right. So again, invest your time, your energy, your money, because you will truly never know when will the return be and how huge the return be. Right. And also, invest in relationship is also 
very, very important. And everything comes down to invest in the now. And then Dr. Wayne Dreyer, he had this amazing quote in a book called, You will see it when you believe it. He was saying that feelings and thoughts are actually the foundation of behaviors, right? And behavior leads to the results that you have in your life. And in order to change your life or change your circumstances and actually to take a step back, you need to change your behavior. But the most efficient way to change your behavior is change your feelings and change your thoughts. And how to do that? Actually, just by live in your ideal now. Because Dr. Wayne Dyer, which I found out recently, that he was also heavily influenced by Neville Goddard as well, right? So live in your ideal and inspirations now. That's number one. And number two is that this ideal, this inspiration, it has to be natural to you. And this is super, super important. I would like to hereby share a quote I'm reflecting upon. He said, abundance is not something we acquire. It is something we tune into. Because when we're thinking about we are acquiring something, it subconsciously communicating with ourselves that it is something outside of us. If we really think about it in this life, there's nothing that we can really gain or possess. We come into the world empty-handed and we leave the world empty-handed. So everything that we quote-unquote gain and possess on this journey are actually all temporary, right? With that said, the abundance we cannot really acquire, but we can live in that state of abundance by tuning ourselves into it. And myself and Neville Goddard have so many, many stories and personal experiences about by tuning into that energy, the problems resolved, the opportunity shows up in your life, the abundance, the business deals just seems like flowing into your life effortlessly. And within a few days, hours or minutes that your life could completely change. I would like to finish today's video with a quote from St. Germain that Dr. Wayne Dreyer believed St. Germain is Babaji himself or one of the reincarnations of him. And I would like to do another separate video about Babaji and Yogananda, this lineage. But let's check out this quote. Do you not see how great a mistake it is to sink under the ignorance of the outer self, feeling pain, distress, and disturbance, all created by the ignorance and activity of the outer self, when a few moments of earnest contemplation will cause one to realize that there can be but one presence, one intelligence, one power, acting in your mind and body, and that is God. And this quote as a gift from my heart to yours. And I really think this quote is absolutely amazing and really worth meditating upon and reflection upon. I trust that you find this video very helpful and enjoying a ton. Make sure you subscribe and share this with a friend or a few friends. Till next time.